we have a big log here. It's about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. As you saw earlier, I could do small ones. Now we're up to the big ones. When I do the bigger ones, I'm using chainsaws and things like that. So I have to be prepared. So I have steel-toed shoes. I have these special chaps that I put on. If the saw goes into my leg, this fiber will come out and it'll jam the saw up. I also have the uh, leather vest, and I have these special gloves that I wear. And if the ha if the saw touches my hand, it'll also release this fiber stuff, and um, it'll stop the saw. And then, of course, the last thing is this, because I do want to protect my eyes. Now, what I'm creating on this sculpture is... I'm doing a, a very tall figure with his arms up in the air, releasing an eagle. And the last one I did, we called it Letting Go. But because this is an aspen tree, I'm calling this one Aspen of Flight. And I have to, you know, I have my sketch in my sketchbook, but I also have to draw on the log with, with the uh, chalk. I want the legs to come down this way, and I'm, right now I'm standing at the base of the sculpture. So I start with the base, and I want the base to become a natural piece of the tree. So at the bottom, it's going to look like the tree, and as we go up, you're going to start seeing the legs, and now I'm going to start cutting it. I just had to saw, I'm trying to create the base on this sculpture piece. So I've cut out a section here, and this section is going to keep going all the way up the length of the piece, and it's representing his body and his legs. And this is just to show you that I've cut this out. You have to be pretty precise with the chainsaw because you don't want to uh, put uh, extra notches inside the piece of wood. Uh, the wood. Even though it's forgiving, it's not really forgiving, especially when I start carving out the eagle. I've roughed out the sculpture. Um, I still have a little more work to do on the base, but you can see that I've created the base, and also now we're going up the front of the body of the piece of, of, the, of the figure. And um, you can now see that I have the hands coming up. The eagle's roughed out. The human is roughed out. I have, still have to use the grinder to flatten the surface a little more and make it a little finer. And then I use my Dremel, and I'm going to start shaping the wings, shaping the eagle's head, doing the beak, doing the eyes. The whole sculpture will be washed with a light brown paint to protect it. The tips of the eagles will have gold leaf on it, and the face, the face will be with the gold leaf also. So when this this is this will be an outdoor piece. So I am going to coat this with a varnish or a polyurethane, so it'll be totally protected outdoors.